What is up in the army? I am Gamer5 coming at you with a brand new video. And today I am this is kinda late, but I am coming at you with my showcase of the 1.17 update for Minecraft on Java. <laughs> I don't have bedrock, so Java. Anyway, um the reason why this is late is I wasn't really in a filming mood last week. That is literally it. That's why. It's here. So, um Yeah. I'm in the convention center on the Nair Village server. So, um Hopefully this goes well. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff to show that was put in this update. Now, I'm not going to show everything. Not everything. I will leave a link in my description, in the description of this video, to a video that of a different YouTuber that um, showed everything from this update. I'm showing the blocks and stuff, I'm not showing, um, uh, crafting recipes because I don't know, <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it, let's start over here, well, I guess if they might die, so, uh, let's start over here, actually, so these are just repurposed, they're meant to be dunk tanks, <laughs> so I repurposed them into showing tanks, so the first thing we got is glow squid. Stupid thing that was voted in. <laughs> now, that it's kind of a weird looking thing. I don't have a weapon. Well, technically I do. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna kill it. That I'll show you, uh, tell you what everything is. And if you saw there, it, um, it gave, uh, uh it didn't drop, oh, it did drop. Uh, if you saw there, it, um, it has a different ink particle than the normal squid, obviously. So, um, when you kill an ink squid or it die on, um, beach like a whale, um, you will get glow ink sacks, which, if you take them to a sign... This is a normal sign. This is a glow a sign with glowing text. You just click on the sign like that. It's so cool. Like it is so neat. This is the glow squid spawn egg, and this is the ink sack. And these are also things you can make with uh inks, the glowing sacks, glow item frames. Which is weird. <laughs> I like the glowing text on signs. In my view, it's like neon. But, um, for the other stuff, I could pass. <laughs> anyway, next, we will, we have the axolotls. Which, these are the only two things that come with, that have anything to do with them. Um, there is, uh, a bucket with an, uh, a bucket with an axolotl, which is how you catch them. Kind of like a normal fish. I grab a bucket here. Now it's filled with water, and now I have a bucket of axolotl! And I place it back in! See? Really, really cool! I really like that, and, um, now let's move to the blocks, which I will show you guys, uh, what I've been, I've already used, uh, block, blocks from this update in a build on the server, so I will show you guys that. There is one more mob, that's the goat, but I have, uh, that set up at the end because 
it's the GOAT. <laughs> anyway, with that f first of the decorational stuff and block stuff is um candles. These are so cool. <laughs> like they come in each and every different color and you take a flint and steel and um light them light them on fire and the top of them change colors like these are so cool Like, they are so cool. I love that they added more lights into the game. Like, and to the fact that you can also color them. It's so, so neat. And, um, yeah. So, this is so neat. So cool. Love it. I love them. And let's move on. Next item, the new ore. Now, we will get to the ore later, which is over there, but this is copper. I have been waiting for copper for so long. As, well, this thing. <laughs> now, all this copper has been sitting here for quite a while. It has not aged at all, because I was smart and placed wax versions of them. But, you can take an axe and unwax it and get wa the wax off achievement and eventually all this copper will well this one won't change but this one will turn to this and then this and then that same with all these I'm not gonna bother with these but these ones have slab stairs, which is really cool. But this one, the lightning rod, is so amazing. And I'm going to go on to the roof and show you guys how this works. <laughs> so, um, if you are aware of the server's issue with lightning, you will know that this is a big thing that we have been needing for quite a while. As one of my build, a couple buildings on the server has, well, burnt down because of lightning strikes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now I don't fully know, um, how this will work. Okay, well, that didn't work. Okay. I... Mm. You know, I live in a thing in the description. I, I know how it's supposed to work. But I just don't know how to summon a lightning bolt correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll come in handy for me. Uh, you guys will be able to see it in the video that I have linked in the description. <laughs> God. Anyway, this is the copper ingot, which we will get to later over there. So, oh, over there. Uh, sorry. I'm pointing with my hand in real life. Not that helpful. <laughs> then we move on to the lush cave items. This is a bunch of weird, a bunch of new, like, decorational stuff in my view, but, um, that would bother me. Anyway, with that, um, let's just go through all the items here. We have, uh, azalea leaves, which there is but flowering azalea leaves and just normal azalea leaves, which, uh, I like the budding ones, I, the flowering ones. I've already actually used those in a build, which I will show you guys later. 
Then, uh, there's also, um, the Azalea trees. These are, just, uh, in my view, I would call these the saplings of them. They won't grow here. So, might as well take these out and, uh, and grow them on the roof. So you guys know what I'm talking, what they're, ac what they actually are. Um, right, let's take them down here. This is, a construction site. Um. Okay. Bone meal. And oh what the Bone meal. There we go. Okay. There's the flowering azalea and yeah. So they both have the same leaves. Which is interesting. But um I don't know what's the point of having flowering azalea and normal azalea um, as these. That doesn't really make that much sense. Anyway, with that, with that out of the way, let's um, let's go back. I'll have to take that in those trees uh, later. <laughs> then we have moss, which is weird. <laughs> um, we have a moss block and a moss carpet. Don't understand it. <laughs> then we also have flower rooted dirt and hang hanging roots, which I did attach to rooted dirt. Thought that would be a smart idea. Anyway, with that, um, next we have spore blossom. That's what's responsible for all these little green particles. It's actually kind of cool. I don't really like it, but uh. Definitely gives it an ambient effect. Then we have glowberries, which give you berries, and they glow when they're fully fully grown. Let's um, uh, I'm out of energy. <laughs> I'm wanting to use up my hunger. There we go. Starting to use up now. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that. Okay, not that much. Does not heal that much. <laughs> uh, does not um, fill up that much hunger, but still cool that it gives off light when it's grown. It's it spots in uh, the lush caves, so be on the lookout for that. I don't think lush caves spawn yet, but um, yeah. Then there's drip leaves. This one I could not spawn, so I put it in an item frame. This one I could spawn. This is big drip leaf. This is small drip leaf. Now this one is a good way of doing parkour. Let's go back to that field, little patch of grass over there and I will show you how. Oh, wait, I can do it. Yeah, let's still go over to that over here. This is the cool thing about this. Man, these can go tall. <laughs> okay. Now, the big thing about 
these is they can make you you can make um pretty cool parkour things with them but if you stay on them for too long you will fall ah, I broke it god why did I do that <laughs> but it you might have seen them uh, angled down there well it when they're on that that means you fall like there we're fine and then you fall like it's actually quite cool like I quite like these now I suck at parkour I will probably never use them in any of the builds at least on this server I might in an aircraft if I could find them <laughs> so I probably won't be able to find them though so um with that let's move on to amethyst now this is a big thing um amethyst shard is used for quite a bit um so let's just walk through everything in this uh we have block of amethyst which has a very cool uh sound See? But I don't have the walking sound, I don't know why. I might have that off, I don't know, that's weird. Then there's also um, this one, which is the budding amethyst. Usually you can't get this one, but I spawned it in via creative. This is the block that actually uh, um, allows you to get the amethyst clusters, which will get you the amethyst shard. And then there's also calisite and tough, which will which you find surrounding the amethyst. Which I I love these blocks. They are so cool. These two I haven't used yet. I probably will use them eventually for builds. They're just, they're really, 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 really neat. And then we have this. This is Dripstone. It is so cool. They can kill, they can hurt things, they can be, like, they are so cool. This is a dripstone block. Um, then this is the actual pointed dripstone. All three of these are. This is a dripstone pointing down from uh, the ceiling, which uh, you break the top block, it will fall, and it will hurt. Then, I'm actually curious. That's the max it can go. So, um, this is the point of dripstone pointing upwards, and if you follow this, it will hurt quite a bit. But I don't know, actually. I don't know how much it will. You know what? Let's, let's test. Hmm. Just a heart. Okay. <laughs> then this is two uh, um dripstones placed right uh. One on the bottom, one on the top, and it does this. This is just cool. I wanted to show it. And um, then we get into pretty much the new um Goldstone variant. Um, Deep Slate. Now I really like this. I've already used it in a build, which uh I will show you later. But um. Deep Slate is so cool looking, it's another dark block which is amazing, the nether update, they added so many amazingly cool dark blocks, and they backed that up this time, with um, the entire variants of Deep, deep Slate, which is uh, just normal Deep Slate, cobbled Deep Slate, which going by the name, I'm pretty sure you get it from mining Deep Slate, then you get Polished Deep Slate, Deep Slate Bricks, Deep Cracked, Deep Slate Bricks, Deep Slate Tiles, Cracked Deep Slate Tiles, and Drizzled Deep Slate. And then for uh, 
very selected of them. You get um slab and stair and wall variations. So pretty cool. Then along with these deep flight stuff, we get deep flight ores. <laughs> we have redstone, copper, coal, iron, gold, lapis, uh, emerald, and diamond. And these look so cool. This stuff is actually the new area that's below um zero, right? Um, because they changed the um ow the um the uh heights of the stuff i think unless it's coming in a later update anyway um with that time to talk about ores so they changed ore textures don't know why well they said the, the well i do know why because i watched the other guy's video um, before making my video, and, um, they changed, apparently they changed them to help with colorblind. Okay. Even though, um, I, I don't really understand it, but, okay. <laughs> um, then, the big difference now, though, with, uh, the ores, um, primarily, Gold, iron, and now copper. When you did, when you mine them, you used to get the blocks of gold, copper, and well, gold and iron, copper not at all. Now you get raw gold, raw iron, and raw copper, which then you smelt to get the ore. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. You could also make block of raw, raw copper, block of raw iron, and block of raw gold. And as uh, some people would point it out, they look like beans! <laughs> I don't know why people point that out, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, then, moving on from all this, this is interesting uh, uh, change. Then, there's tinted glass and the spy glass, which you use amethyst crystals to make. Now, tinted glass, I have a little thing that I built to show you what it does. Um, it doesn't let any light into a room, which is pretty neat. Uh, then there's spy glass, which is kind of strange. It's pretty much up to five, but um, in Minecraft. Like. You don't need to download anything for it. So, yeah. Is there any fish I can spot with us? Hi, fishy! Hi, fishy! <laughs> yeah, so, I'm behind the copper display. Anyway, with that, uh, let's go down to the garage, the parking level, and I will show you the tinted glass thing. So, this is tinted glass. See? Tinted glass. Now, I open this, light goes in. I close this, it is very dark. Like, if I go into spectator mode, then go in here. It is quite dark in here. So, that is pretty cool. I I quite like that. It's some, um, it's a new. It it is kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure people will find a good use for it. Then moving on from tinted glass and the spyglass to glow like like, uh, yeah, this this thing. I don't know how to say it properly. Anyway, um, <laughs> this uh you can find on cave walls. <laughs> So, um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and I guess it adds more light in the caves. It, it does get quite dark in there. So, um, yeah. Then, we have powder snow. This is a good trap thing. You can also kill yourself in it. <laughs> Another way to kill yourself. Great. <laughs> Deadly snow. <laughs> 
Um, this is powder snow in a cauldron, which you pick up via bucket. See? Powder snow in bucket. Now, if you walk into powder snow, you will start to freeze. And, um, if I go into survival mode again, I go back in here, we will start to free- we will freeze! And start- and our hearts will go blue, and we will start to take damage. Then, if we put on leather boots, we can actually walk on top of it. So now, we actually have a use for leather boots once we level up! And get like gold and diamond and, and and iron. You actually have a use for iron boots. Uh, I mean leather boots. It's actually kind of neat. Um, so I don't know if I'll use this at Snowball Mountain. That's the only snowy place on the server. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll use it there. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much it. There's one last thing I might have missed stuff, but I, well, I know I missed stuff. There's stuff that is technically in the game, but in my view is not in the game. Because, well, you have to use commands to get them. I just, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's in the game, that stuff. It's, um, uh, the, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, uh, don't mind that. Anyway, with that, last item of this episode of the update are goats! They're in the game! Look at them, they're so cool! Um, I'll just, I'll go on top, show you guys from up here. Um, Look at them! They were so cool! Now, if you're in creative mode, they will butt you! It just... Uh, <laughs> they will ram you, they will, uh... They will scream, they will jump really high, that's why I have this glass roof on here, so they won't jump out of here! As they are in the zoo, and I don't want them jumping out. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Anyway, with that, guys, um, let's end over at the fish tank. Um, this stuff is not growing back. I fed the pandas recently, and it looks like all the bamboo has not returned. Oh, there's no panda! <laughs> These are the pigs. It's the cows and sheep. Stuck again?! How do you always get stuck? <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna work on that one. <laughs> anyway. With that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. Uh, it'll be versus tomorrow. Um, with that, guys. I'm Game Near 5 from the New Army team, signing off, and uh, well, yeah! Dead! Bye! Okay, so in retrospect, I completely forgot about this. <laughs> I, re I forgot, and I, well, I remembered. After doing my outro. Anyway, so this I'm just gonna put on then. No outro is gonna be on the end of this. Probably of ju just a black card. Anyway, with that, guys, um, I told you I was gonna show you what I've used uh, some of the new blocks in. I've already used them in build. In builds, I, s I think I said in the video. Well, that's partially incorrect. Only one. Um, I'm at Mini Game Studios on the on the server, and um, this is the build I've used them in. 
Oh, three blocks. Sorry, three blocks I've used. Okay, I've used three blocks. I completely forgot about the other one. Um, so three blocks were used here. Um, uh, I have so far. I could be using more in the future. Um, so currently I've used um the flowering azalea leaves and uh, polished deep slate um stairs these are stairs there's water in them um and then i have deep cobbled deep slate right this is that's what this is right yeah cobbled deep slate and i did the exact same thing on the other side this is a big uh, construction site <laughs> yeah so yeah, I, I wanted to show you guys what I've used the blocks in. Now, um, I'm gonna be actually working on this. That's why I, I even brought my horse over. I cleaned everything up after the the showcase, and I just packed, uh, and I just came over here. So, with that, with that, guys, I'm just gonna call it here. Goodbye.